All right, y'all. Well, in the part one of this series, man, y'all already seen what happened between BMF with Big Meech and Blue Da Vinci and also how WAC 100 got involved with it. Y'all seen the previous video I did with Jay Diggs. Now, guys, right now, this is part two with the homie Jay Diggs where he talks about WAC 100 and he talks about how they beef even got started. Now, y'all don't want to miss this, man. So if y'all enjoyed part one, y'all really going to love part two. Let's go. You are now tuned in to YouTube's favorite, Lionel B. The Lion B Show. And that was my thing, man, because initially he he tried to pretend like he ain't know who you was, but then he said in the same language, he's like, oh, I don't know who he is, but oh, that's the one that Mac Dre. So it sounds like, you know what I'm saying? He already knew who you was, you know what I'm saying? Or he thought he knew who you was. No, no. Nah, nah. I, I, I'm going to genuinely say he did not know who I was. Because if he knew who the fuck I was, he wouldn't even open his mouth, my nigga, period. Right, right, right. Now, what happened was after he got to run in his mouth, and he went and sent all this little, uh, what he call them, spies to do his homework on me. He found out who he was dealing with. Plus, he found out he wasn't gonna find out no bull. Ain't no bull on me. On, on me. My name is Gold in the streets, my nigga. And like I told him, my ass ain't in the air. Ain't no bitch playing in my. Booty. You feel what I'm saying? I'm I'm not on motherfucking um, internet doing none of that weird shit. I ain't, right. ain't nobody knock me out and none of that shit. That shit don't happen in my world. And, and, I, and so when he went to go in to find it out, and then I'm sure some niggas, some real niggas that I know, that's been around him, been around him, told him, my nigga, he not the one. Like, my nigga, you're not going to do him like you do these other rap niggas. Right, right, right. So after that, then he start realizing, then he start trying to pump the brakes. But no, my nigga, you done already ran into a wall. So now you got to stand on all that shit you did. Nigga that said, then a nigga turned around and said, uh, Oh yeah, uh, Jay I uh, got paperwork on this nigga. He touched a thirteen-year-old. What nigga put the paperwork up? What you waiting on? What what, 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 what you waiting on? You trying to get it made? He said, "Oh, I got the work. I got it. Like, nigga, stop playing with me. You feel me?" So he's one of them niggas that'll take somebody's name and try to run it through the dirt because he thinks right. you ain't got no voice to stop it. But I'm gonna stop it with my voice and I'm gonna bust him in his motherfucking mouth. So tell him that. Whack, line it up, my nigga. Like I don't get to talk about none of that other. Shit. So pretty much at this point, man, like he can't even come to you on no man to man shit. Like you, you still want that fade, pretty much. Yeah, that is man to man. That's how he can come to me, my nigga. I respect that. Up. Let's fight and get it out the way, cause that's what he asked right. for. Right. And like right. I said, let's set an example for these kids, my nigga. That's in this rap world to do this, shit, and then they turn around to a body. Right. This shit get messy, yeah, but I ain't trying to go through that, my nigga. I'm been living a beautiful life. I'm not trying to go that. through it, but now, you know, I'm not ducking no recreation. I like the fight. Yeah, and you said that, homie. So, so are are you saying you, you think he not really from Pyru? Like, dude, like, what, what's your take on his affiliation? None, none of that shit really concern me. My thing is, my nigga, this: if he's from anybody gang, I don't give a who gang he's from, right. my nigga. If they allowing him to do that. I, I don't think I don't think he's really a, 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 a who he say he is. He, like, yeah, exactly. Like, like like you know, to to at some point in time, somebody got to step to this nigga and say, bro, bro, you know, this is not what go on in gang life. You keep hollering Pyro, right. Pyro, Pyro. Now, if you not in gang life, stop hollering that shit exactly. and stop acting like you with that, and then misrepresent that. Shit. Go rock with the rat life. Like that's a, two different things. Like, exactly. how do you straddle that fence? I don't understand it. So, you know, it ain't for me to say who he from or who he not from, but all I'm saying is he's misrepresenting whatever gang he from. So, in, in your opinion, you know, so outside of that, I know you don't care about it. It don't even matter. Cause you know what I'm saying? When a man go man to man, bro, it don't even matter, like, who who you repping. So, in your opinion, I know, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you saw 6ix9ine got jumped or whatever, how did you feel about that when, when uh, WAC 100 was like, oh, you know, well wishes and all that. Cause I know you had a couple things to say, but like just being Cali dudes, like 
is that how y'all move? Like, okay, if somebody get jumped, like, and somebody is snitched, like, how you how you feel about that, bro? So here's the thing, bro. Like I was just telling you, I went to prison for ten years. I went okay. to for a motherfucker wearing a wire and setting me up with the FBI or a wire mm. in the car with me. Mac Dre was my co-defendant. He went to prison for not telling on me. Wow. We got out of prison together and we started a movement. We started a movement because we stayed as my co-defendant. Ain't too many niggas had come home and they still friends with their co-defendant. Yeah. Right. Yeah, check them statistics. But we came home and we started a movement together. You feel me? The whole hyphy moving all the shit through the bed with the yeah. narrative. So my thing is with rats, I don't deal with them. I don't like them. I had a nigga that was close as a brother to me that did some rap. He can't come nowhere real around me. I ended that nigga career. Like, that's how I get out. You ask anybody who checks stats on digs, they gonna tell you, you check my music. I don't give a if it's my son. My son cannot be in the streets and tell on somebody and then turn around and come around me and say, yo, you know, dad, you know, I was doing this, but then he did something. So I told on him and I just, so I don't go to jail. No, I don't condone that. I don't condone that in no way. Cause somebody sent me, took me away from my family for 10 years because he couldn't do his own time. I didn't get caught. He got yeah. caught for something and he wore a wire on me. So my understanding with rats is I don't deal with them. Get them away from me on the pen yard. I ran them off the yard or I made them very uncomfortable. And you ask anybody in the country about me, that's how I get out, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's just digs. So what would have happened to, you know what I'm saying, whacking the feds? So, you know, of course he a free man now, but had it been the other way around, had y'all been locked up together, man, what would have happened to, you know what I'm saying, a little, little wacky tacky 100? He would have either had to go up in that room with me and get his ass whooped, or he would have got it off the yard. His homeboys would have ran him off the yard. His homeboys would have made him go in the room with me. Like, nigga, you got to go catch that fade. You got to get it. That's why I don't even, you know, when he say from, he did time in the pen and all that shit, my nigga, like, you don't do that. I mean, you know, I, you know, some niggas get played with in the pen, but real <laughs> niggas don't do that. You feel what I'm saying? So, right. yeah. But here, you know, like I say, I just wanted to really explain this shit, my nigga. I really want to go back and forth. I'm not here to keep I talking. I get it. About, I, you know, this nigga is, is he, he not even cut from the same cloth as me, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And, and we can see that, man. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, he ducked you, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You seen the video the other day, and I sent it to you personally. I just saw you. I was watching another um another thing on Instagram, and I saw it. I'm like, man, who who the homie Jay did? So I went and tapped in, because I kept seeing people saying, man, you keep... Uh, Duck and Jay Diggs. I'm like, man, who Jay, you know what I'm saying? Who Jay did? So I found you. I'm like, damn. So yeah, Jay did want that smoke and, you know, whack 100 clearly ducking that shit, bro. Different if he didn't ask for it, my nigga, but you right. that out right. your own mouth. Like you said, I'm disrespecting you, you this kind of way just so you can come catch this fade. Right. And I, you know, so, you know, let me get it. That's all I'm saying. Let's line it up. That's all I'm saying. Now, this video is being sponsored by Beardison the cure for your dry and frizzy beard. Now, regular oils and other moisturizers just don't cut it. Now, to order, go ahead and head over to Beardison.com and it's also available on Amazon.com. Now, you can click on my link in the description after this video and order yours today. A lot of people uh, in the internet world, social media world, everybody know what you said, but he hasn't ha really had no response. Have y'all had any contact since that day that you was calling him out? No, uh, we ain't had no contact. No, no, not no contact. But he still, he still runs his mouth. You know, he still be talking shit about you. He still say some slick shit, but he ain't, you know, he ain't saying nothing about catching that fade, and he ain't telling Blue to bring that that debriefing paperwork. And let's not forget yeah. that. Yeah, Blue Da Vinci. Since we yeah. on that subject, if you want to clear your name and you want niggas to stop calling you a rat, you already said that you went in the debriefing room. Bring the debriefing paperwork with the questions front to back, and you will be a cleared man. And you know what? He even um I think even Jeezy called out Da Vinci man. He got a song called Better Tell Him. And he was talking about how uh Blue Da Vinci turned states. You know what I'm saying? He was like, damn, yeah, uh, even Blue turned state. Who would have knew? You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. It was the get right song. Get no, no, he got a song called I Better uh Better Tell Him. Uh, yeah, but he got one. He got one with the same shit, but it was called a uh, get right. When then Blue responded, "What I got right." Mm. When, he, when he hit him with the with the with the metaphors, uh, three mics. Uh, I gotta check that out. I gotta yeah, check that yeah, out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they went back and forth on the song. Mm. Uh, 
Jeezy hit Blue when Blue first got out of jail. He hit him. He said, nigga, uh, he rapping to the judge, giving three strikes. And it was kind of a metaphor because because Blue was in the movie Three Strikes. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me uh, the, the one from Cali, right? With uh, with Brian Brian Hooker. Yeah, yeah, a little E forty. Oh shit! Ain't no blue was in that, bro. Yeah, he just had a little quick little role. Oh, okay. It was just a, you know, he yeah, but he did that type of shit before he was running with the mob. So, so at this point right now, man, you just waiting on, you know, what I'm saying you waiting on Wack One Hundred to line it up, man, like. Yeah, that's all. He, I'm he sound to, like he don't want it though. I'm only doing this because I'm trying to bring him outside. It's the only way I can get him outside. <laughs> you said that too. You was like, man, look, y'all gotta hit him up because you know he don't be nowhere else but clubhouse, man. And then hanging with six nine all the time, man. Uh, it digs me. Academics. I be in every state in this country. I be in your state too. I be everywhere, bro. It ain't nowhere in this country I don't be. So you don't you don't want to do no celeb boxing thing like you you know what I'm saying you like I you say you, you say you willing to meet, I, meet him wherever. Look, I've got a call about that, a couple calls about that. And I told him, I said, I, I do that shit, but I'm not doing that shit with no boxing gloves. We can do some UFC shit. There you go. We're going to fight. We're going to get out, my nigga. Like, there I'm you not, go. It's, yeah, we're going to get out. Man, you're going to get a whack 100 a heart attack, bro. You know, you know, dude, bro. I'm not, he ain't built like that. I'm not doing no clown shit, my nigga. I'm a, I'm, I'm a <laughs> nigga with all that mouth get a nigga. I'm a prison nigga, for real. You know, he a little dude, bro. You How tall you was, like 6'4", six, 6'5"? Four, six, Man, I'm nowhere near that, bro. I'm the Man, how tall you is, bro? I'm the same size as whack. That's what I'm saying. It's a great Nah, fight. ain't no way, bro. I'm 5'7", my nigga. Get the f- I'm 5'7". Well, 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 you, nigga, you like five, but you like two times that nigga's size, bro. He ain't that big, bro. Nah, uh, we the same size, my nigga. That's what I'm trying to For say. For real? Yeah. Don't do the don't 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 do the little guy like that, man. You gonna you gonna you gonna paint his ass. That's, that's the that's the thing about it. That's what people get me twisted from. I'm not doing the bullshit. The same size. I'm gonna beat that nigga up though. <laughs> like for real. I you know, know you is, bro. Five, I know you is. I'm five seven. For Two, real? Oh, okay, y'all. So y'all heard it first, man. J D is five seven. seven. He gonna he gonna he gonna wax whack one hundred ass all over the floor. Y'all already know the vibes, man. We can do it his way or we can do it like J-Rock did it. It don't matter. J-Rock. Yeah, I know J-Rock. The J-Rock from Cali, man. The blood. Like, who he fought? Yeah, J-Rock just seen him and punched him in his mouth. Oh, shit. I'm trying to line it up and do it like that. Damn. I, it, I, I know it. J-Rock got into it. Ain't no J-Rock beat up Black Whack 100. Damn, Whack. You just catching L's all over the place, bro. Yeah, that, 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 that's, how I, that's how I found out who Whack 100 was. I didn't even know who Whack 100 was. Until I thought that. J-Rock knocked out Suge, so I guess I got my uh, my, my information wrong. No, he knocked out. He Somebody out. knocked Suge ass out. But damn, J- damn Suge. Damn, Whack, are you still talking shit, bro? Come on, man. And you butt on Clubhouse? Come on. Yeah. Come on, bro. And I got the song, the song in the video dropping this week too. Man, what you got? What you got tapped in, bro? We want to hit the music. We want to support your uh, shit, bro. It's, it's, called, it's called Three Finger Whack. I'm gonna send that one to you, <laughs> bro. Thank you for bringing that up. What the hell is Three Finger Whack, bro? Like, where that came from, bro? So, so if you if you if you if you, if you, if you look on my page, my page is at J Diggs this. Right. Uh, it's a clip on there. It's one of the last clips I posted. It's his ex girlfriend who busted him out. And she was telling the story about how he liked to get his played in, and she was wanting to do, and how he liked three fingers. You know? <laughs> so you know, bro, for real, no bullshit. Hey, I, can't, I can't make this up, and I wouldn't even go there, my nigga, if he wasn't, you know, if he didn't say all this about my mama sucking. And I'm right, married, right, and right. Then I turn around Low and you do all this weird, shit, you know. <laughs> And, and, and then his son is a, a, a fairy. Which, you know, I seen that. I seen that video you post, bro. He was, what is it? The merman. He was running the water and shit. Yeah, so my thing is, how you so phobic, bro, when you got all these issues at home? You feel me? So, yeah. So, you know, it, it is what it is. So, Three Finger Whack dropped this week, man. So, y'all make sure y'all look that up, man. It's on all platforms, you know. My YouTube. It's on my YouTube. J Diggs this. T-H-I-Z-Z. J-D-I-Z. Hey, bro, and, and, and your YouTube going crazy, man. I'm going I'm to make sure I link your YouTube uh, in the description, man. Y'all check out my homie, man. He's he's certified. He's solid. He ain't playing with WAC 100, man. So, you know, WAC 100, he want to talk about everybody, bro. And, and like he ain't going to bust a grape in a food fight. Soul of a gangster, man. Y'all, that's my book on all platforms, too, man. Get that shit. Go ahead and, and look it up, man. BT American Gangster. You can look that up. I was on that. Celebrity Crime Files on TV One. I was on that. You know, you chase all kind of documentaries on who Jay Diggs is. That's what happened, man. Wack 100 seen all that shit. He was like, okay, let me back off of bro. 
But it's too late now, cause you know what I'm saying? You done, you done woke up the bear and then shit. He on your ass now. <laughs> I appreciate you having me on, bro. Like I yes, said, sir, bro. I appreciate I, you, man. Much love, bro. Ten, ten four.